everybody welcome back to the channel uh, as you can tell by the thumbnail this is probably gonna be a little bit different of a video in fact if we actually catch fish today it's gonna be a big surprise um, I am at one of my favorite little fishing places to come with the kayak um, although uh, this year uh, it's been hmm, it was a little different so uh, the last time I was here was in the kayak I was doing my uh, Shimano Corrado DC review and the water was drastically low and leaking out of the spillway so uh, if you didn't see that video I'm gonna go ahead and link it up above right now so you can see uh, that even back then there was still a lot more water in this pond um, I don't know what happened um, I've seen a lot of posts uh, online that this place was completely dried up um, and that um, they weren't doing anything about it so I don't know the game commission Pennsylvania fish commission fish and boat commission Pennsylvania game commission I don't know what's going on I wish somebody would do something about it because this was an awesome fishing spot um, but as you can see from the uh, from the video here uh, it's drastically lower uh, a lot of this stuff was all underwater. Uh, there were very few of the roots sticking out. I'm going to apologize for the wind noise right now. Uh, Ryan and I are out here. We had to come by, so we thought we'd jump out here, take a look for ourselves. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Based on those posts online, I was pleasantly surprised at how much water was still in here. Um, now, I know we haven't got a whole lot of rain this year. Um, South Central Pennsylvania is still more than five inches below our normal rainfall. But is that really what caused behind what's behind me? I don't think so. Um, like I said, I heard water spilling out the spillway or leaking out the spillway. Um, and um, I did hear one report of uh somebody that was here and saw a game commission officer and they knew it was happening um but didn't know what they were going to do or if they were going to fix it i don't know if that's true um but um how could they let this happen um from what i saw a lot of fish died so are there any fish left in here so i wanted to give you guys a quick view around and um Ryan and I are going to cast a few rods here. We brought a couple of baits just to see if, uh, if in fact, there are any fish here. Again, if we catch something, I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. But um, this more is uh, reaching out to the Pennsylvania Fish Commission, Pennsylvania Ga Game Commission. How can we do this, guys? Uh, let's see what we need to do to get this fixed. Let me know. I'm willing to be part of the solution. I'm sure a lot of you viewers out there would like to be part of the solution, too. Stick with us. See if we find anything. So, uh, guys, this, uh, as you can see, is uh, a lot of dry land. And that's normally all underwater. Um, where Ryan's walking right now uh, would be probably over his head. Uh, or at least chest level right now. And Ryan's not that tall of a kid. But uh, he's growing like a weed as most 11-12 uh, year olds do. Uh, but this is just a shame um, a lot a lot of water is, is gone out of here and guys look how much of this land out here this little island is out of the water that's normally all underwater um, so that's I don't know three feet four feet maybe more um, I would say this is at least a minimum of five feet down, uh, five feet uh, of water low. But as you can see, it gets a little deeper over here. Uh, we've still not seen any fish swimming around. Now it is the middle of November, so they're probably not going to be up in the shallows. And this is pretty shallow over here. But we are going to go over there and see if we can cast around, see if maybe there's any fish around.
all right guys well i appreciate you following along with us and we didn't find any fish uh as we thought was going to happen um uh, but again how do they let this happen um how did the water drain all out of there uh, i know we didn't have much rain uh this year but still uh i don't think that's enough to be roughly five feet low um so you know if uh this gets the attention of the pennsylvania fishing game uh, fishing boat commission or the game commission to get it fixed um then you know it was all worth it uh so um if anybody has any ideas of how to get a hold of them how to uh get their attention and see what we can do this was a fantastic fishery um you know i've been here a couple of times i've I've made a couple of videos here. Uh, one time I was fishing in the rain, caught some really, really nice bass. Uh, if you didn't see that one, I'm gonna go ahead and link that one up above. But man, um, you know, the times I've been here, I've caught some really, really nice fish out of here. Really nice bass, really nice pickerel. And uh, Ryan and I didn't even get a bite today, not a follow, nothing. Um, I don't know if there's any fish left in there. Uh, let's hope there is. Um, in the spring, we're gonna have to come take a look and see and monitor it um i don't know that looking at the spillway i don't know that um, the water is going to get any higher or any lower um you know it seems like it's probably as low as it's going to get um but you know with that wood uh there it, the water is just going to seep between between those two uh or between the uh planks there i don't see that being a permanent solution so um yeah uh, if anybody knows how to help, um, you know, let me know. I want to be part of the solution too. So anyway, thanks for following along with us today. We'll catch you next time.